hi guys it's corby here once again and in this video we are going to talk about the collision deformer so just like any other deformer you can create the collision deformer when it comes to create deformer you can find your collision deformer in here you can also come to the deformer menu here and choose your collision deformer so the collision deformer basically makes objects collide with each other so i'll create a plane I could, it could be any object but i'll create a, a plane in this case and i'll make it a bit bigger increase the segment to maybe um 70 by 70. right i mean in up any object that you want to use segments will actually help and i'll come here add a sphere can you, you can see as it stands now the sphere is entering the plane so if i should come to the collision deformer um, to the deformer menu and choose collision deformer make it a child of the plane right and now so when the collision deformer is selected you come to the collider and you define the object you want to collide with the plane so in this case it's the sphere so i'll drag the sphere and drag it into the object um, space here so now you can see instantly it's colliding with the plane so basically that's what the collision um, deformer does it makes them collide but you can go ahead and do other stuff with it so if i should select the sphere and move it but you can see now it flips so it sort of ceases at sees the sphere as coming from the down so because you are moving it from up you can actually select the collision deformer and change the solver to outside so now if you move the sphere a bit more we can go in more but if we push further we can it will stop working basically breaking it so it has a certain level that it can go up to so but you can also change to other solvers to see what depending on what you are doing but in a case the outside works better another thing is when you come to object you can see now we have restore ship so i'll actually increase my frames in here the number of frames i have here and now hit play so i'll come whilst it's playing i can actually reduce the restore shape to zero and you can see everything falls in so now if i should move the sphere it doesn't come back because it's not going to restore the ship i'm saying zero if i show it to like one percent you can see it slowly comes back right so it's an interesting way so we can so if i move it you see slowly comes back and everything and if it's um zero right it started all over again so if it's zero move it doesn't come back you can actually come and move some other place here too and it will never return back but if i should increase it by one or two you no know, it smoothly comes back so it's an interesting way of doing so i can actually let me actually bring this one back to um, zero and probably move it on the side yeah, i'll move it say on x like this and i'll make it i'll create a null object make the sphere a child of the null object and i'll rotate the null object on the heading i'll set a keyframe here and that frame let's see 100 or 90 i make it go 360 so we'll go a full circle so let me hit play and see what we have see see it's giving it some trail following like moving on some sort of like water surface it's really interesting you can use it to do a lot of stuff and if i should come and change the to zero see what happens close it and it doesn't come back so it's an interesting way to use the collision deformer you can also you have the option to also affect how it affects the size around it so when you come to the fall off you can actually change it to one of these in this case i actually use the uv and now i can actually influence the space around the tree i want the um, collision deformer to affect so if I should increase this one, you see it's so the it's actually so now it's always changing everything. And now I can 
increase the distance as well so it's affecting the larger portion or the larger parts of the airplane but you need to watch it out because it can actually affect your um if you are doing animation of something it can actually be a bit distractive so you have to be proportional when you are using this these things so i'm um, that's basically the um collision deformer but because the collision deformer actually calculates your animation as in calculate over time some it's better you cache it because when you move it sometimes it, it, it gets a bit awkward and stuff like that so it's better you can like you cache your animation so you come to cache and you calculate and now it will cache your animation so in our case i'll calculate you see animation is now cached so now i can smoothly move it back and forth you know and it will cache it will calculate smoothly that's what the cache does now let me actually empty the cache now if we come to the collider um object the other um i think um advanced rather if you come to advance there are other things that we can affect so in this case how smooth we want it how you know the flex the structure and everything you play around with this and you get different results you begin to feel more like a cloth make it more stiff out or make it very relaxed and everything so in our case let's reduce the stiffness and see what we get and let's hit play no, it's very very soft no play reduce the structure i mean so you can play around with these ones and see what it gives you can begin to look very interesting with the collision deformer another thing you can also do is um let me actually delete everything i'll actually create like um maybe a cube right not necessarily i'll create a cube and i'll give it a fillet i will increase the fillet a bit and i'll go ahead and create an, a cylinder i'll make the cylinder a bit bigger reduce the height comes to cap caps and i don't want the caps so i'll uncheck the caps so i'll actually come to the rotation segment increase it a bit and now i'll go in and add a collision deformer to the cylinder now see what happens if i should scale the cylinder down oh actually i've not defined the object issue collided so i'll select the collision deformer come to collider and i'll add it uh, i'll add this the, the cube so now if i should scale the cylinder down you see it's wrapping around the cube now let me actually add a material to it and you can see now it's wrapping around the cube very because it's colliding with it so i mean there are several interesting ways that you can actually use the collision deformer to do stuff basically so this is all about the collision deformer you can do several things with it thanks for watching and see you in the next one